This week we're looking at number five in our series on Deuteronomy, The Stranger in Your Gates. And we're particularly looking at the idea of how do you deal with the people who are different from you, from foreigners, strangers, people who are not part of your immediate family or immediate tribe or immediate nation, whatever you want to say. And we're given quite a bit of biblical material there from not only Deuteronomy, but also the words of Jesus, Mark 12, about loving your neighbor as yourself. And that comes right after his comment about loving God that we talked about last time. And when Moses speaks about giving the Ten Commandments there in Deuteronomy 10, he says, you too must love the foreigner because you yourselves were once foreigners in Egypt. That's Deuteronomy 10 verse 19 and that to me is a very key verse because it's looking at the whole aspect of remembering who you are and what you once were back in Egypt. You were foreigners there. Now you may be the majority but you need to remember those who are a minority, those who are strangers, those who are foreigners who live among you. And the great thing was as God gave the law to the Israelites. He didn't forget about all those other people. In fact, he welcomed them in and he told the Israelites, you have to welcome these, is these other people, these, these foreigners, as if they are part of your group. They're not to be excluded from the worship ceremonies. You're, they're not to be excluded and mistreated within society. They are to be included in Psalm 146 it says that God protects the foreigners and there in Matthew 7 12 Jesus says treat others the way you want them to treat you the idea of the golden rule which is there in many other philosophies and religions too treating other people as you yourself would want to be treated trying to be sure that people didn't mistreat just because they were other people that you didn't have to be nice to that you didn't have to be kind to because society did not demand that of that particular group and we've seen of course in history so often that people are not only excluded or discriminated against but are persecuted and you have even instances of genocide of complete desire to wipe out the other people and this is where I think we see the great controversy really really what would you say at the cutting edge the way in which the devil has presented things ends up there killing other human beings just because they're different just because you don't like them just because they speak a different language, just because they're a different ethnic group. That's where sin leads to. That's where the rebellion goes. And if we needed any more evidence, it's right there. The way in which we treat others. Wasn't it Burns who said that man's inhumanity to man makes countless thousands mourn. And that inhumanity is what we've ended up because of our rebellion, because we chose to follow the devil. So this week, let's think about how do we treat those who are other, those who are different from us, and how can we best bring things together? We've got many movements in our world today uh, trying to help the minorities, the, the, the uh, different ethnic groups, and, and so on. But it really does come down to the fact that we need to do this because we truly believe that under God, everybody is our brother and our sister, that we have to see them as no different in terms of value and the contributions they make to ourselves. So this week, let's make this very practical. How do I go out of my way to make sure that I'm not racist, phobic in any way to other people and treat them as God would want me to treat them.
Let's think about that and make that the focus for our study this week.